Right, let's say, make sure it did resume. I restart Twitch on here. Hmm. Hey, make sure it did resume. We're back. We are back. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Something my internet had pretty much just died on me for no reason. It happens every now and again. I might need to contact my internet service provider and find out why. I know my boyfriend had this issue a couple weeks ago as well, and like, it just completely died on him. Okay, let me get the brawl start again. Okay, let's see how these noodles are doing. Let me grab a noodle. Might be good. I'm give it a couple more seconds while we pull out. Well, actually, what we do is it's pretty much done. We'll throw some Parmesan in it. All right, Parmesan in. Mix it up. Just throwing in the Parmesan really quick. Take this off the heat before everything starts burning to the bottom. Perfect. I think I actually did this pretty much perfectly. Sweet. That very rarely happens here. I can see that the screen is sliding a little bit. But we're going to go over here and we're going to actually make our cheese mix that I actually want to mix into this whole thing. So I'm going to pull my goat cheese back out. I put it in the fridge just to keep it chilly because this one tends to fall apart a bit. Or stuck to stick together I should say actually. Grab our mozzarella. Oh, quite a bit harder. That should help quite a bit. All right. Let's get you guys set in a good spot. Perfect. All right, so we already have the goat cheese in. Let's get a bit of Parmesan in. A good bit. There we go. The rest of it. All right, so then let's do the mozzarella. Uh, I'm going to use the smaller cheese grater, just so it's a little spread out a bit more. Let me go uh, mix my thing real quick. I mix it just to make sure that it doesn't go all bad. Mm. I don't trust this actually. It's getting old. It doesn't feel good, doesn't smell good. So we're not using mozzarella, we're skipping that. But we'll use pepper jack instead. I think that'll help. Because this is also partially mozzarella, right? Let's see. What, how do you make this? Uh, Pesheris, jalapenos, cheese. Uh, I don't know. It might, it might be part mozzarella or it might not be. Who knows at this point. So, still just want to use this. I find it a little bit easier. I always forget I need to kind of hold it like this because it tends to pop out a lot. And we're going to need to make a lot, because we want this mixed in well. Like it says to just like put it on top and all this stuff, but truthfully I don't like doing that. I want it to be mixed evenly so you get all the good stuff in every bite. We got kind of a big chunk wanting to come off there, as you can see. So we're going to help it just pop it off real quick, set it off to the side for now. And we'll keep going with the rest of the block of cheese. This is also a very soft cheese, so I'm trying not to push down on it too hard. So then it doesn't make any more chunks like that. I probably should have thrown it in the freezer as well, but I did not, unfortunately. And that's okay. We'll, we'll work with what we got, just like we always do, right guys? Okay, so now we got a pretty good size bowl of cheese right now let me show you bowl of cheese three cheeses currently in there and I'm just gonna mix this straight into our bake I just gotta mix this all together try and get it as even as possible 
especially the goat cheese. Like I said, the goat cheese tends to stick. So if you can, try to spread that out. It might mix and spread a little bit better once I get it in to the mix or into the thing. I wanna get a little bit more pepper jack. Because I know the goat cheese is gonna be very strong. This is gonna be a very strong cheese piece. Oh, what? Dread, why aren't you here? You're missing like the cheesiest of cheese recipes. Tisk, tisk, dread. Tisk, tisk. We'll have to go give them a little bit of crap after this. So, there you go. Just get a bit more in here. You know what? Pepper Jack is freaking good. So, I'm okay with this. It also is going to add a nice kick to it. So, I'm kind of excited about that. I'm a little nervous too because this is going off recipe technically. So we're just gonna have to see how it goes. Probably just about enough. Okay. I just wanna make sure it is cheesy. I don't think I'll add any cheddar because I think that'd make it too strong with all the stuff that we already have. Okay, I think we're good. Do one more mix in the bowl. Oh yeah. Let me show this to you guys. Look at that. There we go. All right, so then we're gonna take it over here and we're just gonna mix it in. Just put it kinda on its heat pedestal a little bit. Get this mixed once before adding any. And then let's add in how it is. Or, ooh, that's what we'll do. Get that in. Okay. And that right there. Perfect. Alright, so I got most of the goat cheese sections in. Oh, there we go. You know, yeah, we're just gonna add it all. Screw it. It's gonna be super cheesy. It's gonna be super good. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> we're we're kind of starting to wing it now, but it's definitely going to be cheesy. Can't say anything about that not being the truth. Oh. Once I get this mixed around a bit better, guys, I will show you how stringy this is. Let me see if I can just get a good string to come out of the bowl for me. It's not, but you can see all the cheese just hanging off that. There we go. Just about there. Oof. Oh, that cheese though. Alright guys, let me show let me give you a little look see. Guys, look at this. Oh, look at that. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. So now what we're gonna do we're gonna grease our pan. So let me go grab something to grease it with. Thank you. I'm just gonna use a little bit of Pam. I think that should be good. Pull it away from you at an angle. There we go. That should be good. All right, now comes the fun part. So I'm having a hot pad with me because this won't go perfectly probably. Hot pad there. All right. So one more mix. Jeez. There's so much cheese on the scoop right now. Let's see how, how well I can get this out. There you go. That's what I was exactly what I was hoping for. Just have most of it just kind of fall out. Oh, I touched my sh a little skin, a little burn. <laughs> Nothing too bad yet. I get everything kind of to the edge here. Kind of have. To since I'm not strong enough to hold this up on my own, I tend to have to use items like I can use the actual pan to 
hold this. There we go. <laughs> Zach is not going to be happy with how cheesy this is. And I say that because he's going to have to clean up the mess. <laughs> All right. So just kind of spread this out as evenly as possible. And then what we do next is we're going to throw it into the oven for about 15 minutes. I'm just going to do this without the uh, screen just so I don't burn myself. And I'm going to check it in 10 just to make sure. I'll probably check it in five just to confirm. I probably don't need the recipe anymore. Probably good without that. Like I said, keep picked up after yourself. Uh, put stuff away as you go. Getting stuff in the sink, getting stuff back in the fridge. Because as soon as I'm done, I'm going to be able to eat rather than have to pick up and then eat. Or eat and then have to pick up more. I do have some stuff to do after I eat. Like I gotta put away dishes and stuff. Cause the dishes are clean right now. Which actually, because I have 10 minutes, we can work on doing the dishes right now. So let's do that real fast. Since there's, there's not too much, our dishwasher doesn't hold a ton. Which is fine as long as we as it gets clean. Crappy Couch Gaming, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry that I just saw that. How are you doing today, my mighty friend? Uh, but yeah, thank you for the follow, man. How goes it? Uh, da -da. Now I'll come back to the bowls. That is why I now also have the Streamlabs up on my iPad so I can actually see when I get these. Except I can't promise that I'll see him right away, obviously, because I'm just, I'm not always there. I'm trying to watch this, and do this, and do this, do all the things at once. I try, I promise. I try. But, hope you're having a good day, man. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Uh, this one goes back in first. The reason why is because I don't want this top to get scratched. That one's okay to get scratched. Not the silver one. Silver one's a bit more new. Okay. How much time do we have? We have nearly eight more minutes left. So let's see. So what did my day entail of? Well, I went to work today for a little bit. Uh, it wound up being a short day for me. That's okay. It happens and whatnot. Kind of sucked, but it's okay. Came home. I wound up actually laying in my bed for a little while. Felt kind of nice just sitting and doing nothing for a little bit. And then I went and I worked on some editing stuff. I worked on... Oh, what else did I work on? I worked on a lot of stuff. Uh, talked with my sister a little bit. I like talking with my sister. She was helping me figure out a Mother's Day gift. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Because don't forget, Mother's Day is coming. So, you don't want to forget that. It's like May 13th, I think. So, it may seem like far away still, but it's not. Still watching to see if it gets golden brown. But it'll, it'll sneak up on you. So, I was kind of having my sister help me with a couple things I was trying to figure out. So, get all this put away. Um, I did that, and then I just played a few games with uh, Recky, Mad, and Max. We played some PUBG together. If you guys didn't go see, didn't see that, make sure to go check out previous games. I might highlight a couple things from a couple of the games. There was there's a couple funny moments. I won't lie, but it also still shows that I'm slightly improving in the game, but still also suck quite a lot. But you know. But I try. I like it. I have fun. I get to play games with my friends. That's, games with my friends. That's all that matters. 
And by the way, these are some of the best bowls and plates I have ever had. They're so thin and easy to stack and just keep clean and keep where I want them to be. And it's just, it makes it so much easier. And they're, like I said, they're lightweight. My last ones that I had were super heavy. I'm just trying to get as much water off as possible. Which will just let that air dry up there. Because you don't really want to stack stuff if they're still wet. Because then afterwards, it will get bad. Let's make sure that's just, ooh, it's starting brown. Don't let out too much air. So 10 minutes is probably going to be just about enough, which is good. I'll probably use that towel in my mitt and place it onto there. Okay, dishes are all unloaded, put away. See, it doesn't take too long to do dishes, so when your parents ask you to do dishes, kids, just do it. Especially if you get a, an allowance for it. That definitely helps. It's a good motivator. I won't lie. All right, we got a little bit of a cheesy mess along here, but I will get that cleaned up after dinner because more than likely when I pull this out and get it all set up, I'll wind up still making another mess. I will need to figure out how to fill that with water. I'll probably just need to move some stuff in here and put the pot in, fill it with water. When you have stuff like this, guys, uh, with a big pot or a pan and it gets like cheesy or something really sticky on, and that can crust over as it dries, make sure to put some water in it so it d that doesn't happen. It will allow everything to kind of start peeling off and become unsticky uh, and whatnot. So, totally thought my cat was sitting on a table. I'm like, oh, okay. But I probably would have shoved him off a little. Oh, I'm just watching, waiting for it to be done browning so I can eat it. Okay, I won't eat it right away because I don't want to burn myself. I can actually pull out the tomatoes because I'm going to, I'm 100% going to put tomatoes on this. I always like adding stuff like tomatoes. Tomatoes is a good flavor. Especially these ones, they're orange. They're a little bit sweeter, I think. Uh, but they're good flavor and it's a it contrast in temperature, which is nice. See, these ones, orange tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes, tomates, greenhouse grown. These ones are called Zima. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's like a specific kind of what it is. It says Zima. I'm guessing that's what it is. So, tomato. Oh, go to eat whole. Hmm. I'll do what I do. I cut it in half, throw it in stuff like this. That's how I eat how it's looking, guys. Oh, yeah, baby. Just three more minutes. We got this, guys. We got this. Just. Three more minutes, just gotta hang in there with me, people. And then we'll have that out. I should probably, I could probably pull out a bowl. I'll, I'll eat this out of bowl, because it's, it's just noodles, nothing extra with it. Well, noodles and chicken. I could have made some carrots for all the side, but I didn't. Next time I'll do that. I like, every now and again, I like some steamed carrots. I'll show you how you guys how to do it properly. It's not too difficult at all, I won't lie. It's, it's pretty easy. You're literally just steaming the carrots, and for me, I like to put the Tajin on it, because it's a good flavor. No, I don't know why I hold it down here. Maybe because it, I can't rest my arm when it's up here, and this gets tiring. But my arm will get stronger if I hold it out like this and give a weird angle and look so strong. I don't know. Like I said, I am literally just trying to kill the 1 minute 53, 52, 51, 50 seconds we have left. So I'm just kind of walking around in circles, talking about whatever comes in mind, going into darker rooms, because that's what you want to do with cameras, is, you know, walk into the darker areas so you can't actually see the people. Actually, it's not as dark as, oh, there's the darkness. There's the darkness. Welcome to the dark side. There will be a day where I actually sleep and I'm not quite so weird. No, no, that probably won't ever happen. There won't ever be a day where I'm not weird. So I'm sorry to all you guys who are hoping that someday I would be normal. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. It's just not. Oh, it's so close. Truthfully, I'm kind of thinking it's probably... Yeah, that's good. That's going to start burning. Okay, let's cancel that off. Uh, 
Okay, so the timer won't turn off. That is okay. You guys just sit here for a minute while I grab that out. No. What? Really? Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna All right, got it right before it was about to start burning, actually. Woo! That could have been bad. Look at that, guys. Oh. Look at that. Yum. Ooh, so pretty. So pretty. Ooh. Give you all the good angles of this. Like, Okay, I hear ya. Oh, nice and warm. But look at that. Look at it from the side. Oh, baby. Alright. I'm gonna start scooping myself out a little bit. Maybe I should wait until it's a little bit cooler and not risk my hands. Maybe I should also just grab something that will work better. Like literally the thing I just put away. So this should skip a little better. Oh, look at that. Look at that little cheese pole. Ooh. Look at that cheese pole. If it doesn't have the cheese pull, you did something wrong. Just so you know. All right, so while it's cooling off, let me go grab knife, scissors, knife, knife to cut up my tom toms with. Yum. I like to use a fork. I'm gonna put this in the sink. All right, I got a fork. I like forks better. Cut up a couple tomatoes. I'm really hoping this turned out okay. Because I know like pepper jack and isn't quite so creamy as like the mozzarella and the parmesan isn't super creamy either. But the goat cheese is very creamy. So maybe that'll help. Of course the milk, we use milk instead of uh, just cream, so that might actually help bring it to solidify a little bit better. Alright. So let's give this, this bad boy a taste test. I'm like trying to make sure I avoid the pan on accident. Okay. Let's grab a little piece of chicken, a couple pieces of noodle, a piece of chicken, and then blow it to cool it off. Cause it did just come out of the oven. Boop, there we go. Try not to burn yourself. Hmm. Okay. It's not bad. Um, it's not great. Even with that much amount of cheese bowl, it doesn't have a ton of creaminess to it. I think a big reason is because I used part milk rather than all cream because that's what I had. But not too bad actually. Mm. It the cheese they all kind of blend together, so they all become kind of just one cheese. Not sure what flavor of cheese though, but it does taste pretty good. Um, might be good if you have kids, because it is cheesy, and kids like cheese, but it's a little fancier for adults, because adults need fancy. So fancy, you know, with your pinkies out. I don't know. Not bad. Not my favorite recipe. Um, they probably use a little bit more seasoning. Especially on the chicken. I feel there's, there's a tiny, tiny, it's a bitsy heat, hit, heat as it goes down my throat. But that's about it. There's not much else. Uh, 
So I wish there was a little bit more heat and I'll work on that for next time. But, hmm, that is good. Hmm, that was a good bite. The top crust, always the best bites. I will say that. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. So, it's pretty good. It's not super de duper flavorful, which I think I just need to add more seasonings. Maybe add some thyme. Or if I had it, add the parsley, like I said. But other than that, it's not too bad. Mm. I'll eat it. Why not? So, guys, thank you all for coming out tonight. Hope maybe you learned a couple things from the cooking show. Um, I am off for the next few days because we are going out camping and stuff. Well, not camping, but we're going to a friend's house and hanging out and stuff chilling for a couple days so it'll be a couple days till I'm back streaming and making dinner and all that but thank you all for coming out uh thanks for following all the follows and subscribes thanks for all the bits today uh yeah we shall see you next time I'm gonna check my twitter see how far we actually are